Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 2nd of May. As this week begins, Venus, the planet of grace, of charm, of aesthetics, of fashion, but also of relating and of course of money, moves into the first zodiac sign of Aries. If you have been going through some soul searching around a relationship issue recently, this could bring you more into the present, especially if there has been, unfortunately, a separation in your situation. But Venus also moves into an immediate sparkling alliance with Mercury in its one of its two home zones of Gemini. Now this can lead to some flirtatious uh, text winging around. It could also bring a greater sense of enthusiasm to the social scene. Of course, the sun does continue alongside Uranus in Taurus, which is very much to do with our resources. But Uranus is asking us through uh, the sun to be as open-minded as possible, to not hold on to things that no longer serve our greater purpose. And in some ways that might be some of the things we've taken for granted a little bit because the cost of living has gone up so much, we might find actually that some of the things we thought were so essential, we can let go. And because the two of them are forging such a, 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 a very powerful and energizing link to the planet of drive, Mars, we can dig deep from within ourselves to find ways in which we can reorder things. Some of that sparkle that Venus and Mercury are going to bring, despite the fact that Venus is technically in its detriment in Aries, could be enjoying the interaction, the personal interaction, and that doesn't really cost anything at all. Now also, there is by Sunday a quarter moon in the sign of Leo. This sees the sun in the second, the moon in the fifth, which just cautions us not to be too free and easy with our resources. But also if there is somebody that we're rather fond of, perhaps they've become rather too used to us indulging them. And this could be a good moment to actually just reinforce our boundaries somewhat. But Jupiter, the planet of fortune, is forging a very powerful alliance to Pluto, the planet of transformation that goes on all through this week. People who have this in their natal horoscopes are often very lucky and often make uh, quite good progress in life in a material context. But of course, Jupiter in the sign of Pisces can be more of a spiritual dimension, but something can change or evolve in a way which pleases us through that particular influence. Also Saturn in Aquarius is forging a semi-sextile to Neptune some of the things that we might think are very important to our structure of our lives, we might be able to let go of some of those with Neptune's help. But of course, Neptune can erode structures in a less positive way. But I don't think that will be the case. I think, again, we can realise that some of the things that we think or thought were so important are not quite as important as, as they actually seem to be in the past. Now, if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast, if you give me three pieces of personal information, I can give you a roadmap that can guide the rest of your life. A natal analysis is so incredibly insightful. But also with this, with my special offer, you can also get a 12-month forecast. And the two are working together and I give you 30% off can really be so very meaningful in terms of tapping your potential, avoiding pitfalls, and making the right moves at the right time. Please see the link below this video for more. Finally, if you are new to my channel, before I give you your Zodiac forecast, if you would be so good to subscribe, I'd be really grateful. I'm racing towards 100,000 subs. It's taken a bit longer than it should have done because of all my health issues but your support is greatly appreciated. Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 2nd of May. It's a restless start for us all as we go into this new month, but Venus's move on Monday, gliding into your sector of success, 
suggest that your contacts, your skills of diplomacy, your ability to cultivate key individuals is going to be critically important over the next four weeks. But of course the Sun and Uranus are in your sector of friendship and the longer term future. You could find that things are pretty uh, rapid in terms of how they're developing. There is also a very potent link between these two and Mars in your sector of adventure. So if things do happen dramatically, even if you're someone who likes a degree of continuity, the best way to deal with this is to embrace it. If you're someone who does enjoy a bit of drama, this week is right up your street. But Venus does also forge a very subtle but powerful link to Mercury, which is locked away in the sign of Gemini and your 12th solar house. So even when it comes to things that you're ambitious about, subtlety, taking soundings, doing your research, um, just really using your instincts and perhaps at times not necessarily be particularly obvious about what you're doing or how you're going about things can actually be very, very helpful to you. Now on Sunday, there is a quarter moon. And this quarter moon is in the sign of Leo, which for you is your second house, whereas the sun in your 11th house of friendships. I think this is just saying that when it comes to the future, all of us at the moment are having to become much more aware of resources in general. So I think the thing here is that you could become much more aware of your values, which can be governed uh, by uh, the second house of a, a situation in relation to your friendships or future hopes. But Jupiter, the planet of optimism, the planet of opportunity, is in a very strident but potent angle with Pluto all this week. And there could be something that you're working towards in some kind of collective way where you're working with others and that shows great pro promise too. So a lot of action, a lot of restlessness. You won't find this week boring, but if you can just sacrifice yourself to the process, the chances are you're going to make the most of it. Thank you.